Hello ladies and gentlemen, scare Table 4 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and doing a redesign for the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. The F-22 is a 5th generation single seat twin engine all weather stealth tactical fighter aircraft developed for the United States Air Force. The result of the USAF's advanced tactical fighter ATF program was the aircraft uh, designed primarily as an air superiority fighter, but also as ground attack, electronic warfare, and signal intelligence capabilities. The prime contractor Lockheed Martin built most of the F-22's airframe and weapon systems and conducted final assembly while Boeing provided the wings, aft fuselage, avionics, integration, and training systems. So uh, yeah, really interesting aircraft for sure, um, an absolutely uh, beautiful and beast of an aircraft. Uh, personally, I think the F-22 is definitely a lot... Um, nicer overall in appearance than the um, kind of F-35. Um, I just think the F-22 just looks so much better and realistically the F-22 actually kind of outperforms the F-35 in many roles. Uh, but yeah, just absolutely gorgeous aircraft and um, you know, finally happy to come back and give it a nice redesign as it was well deserving of after uh, being uh, basically sitting there in a very old version for such a long time. So I'm really happy to come back, revisit the aircraft and to um, you know, get uh, the aircraft built up and again and looking nice and get you guys all a new uh, design for it. Um, anyways, going ahead and jumping into it, we're going to take a look at the aircraft obviously and then we'll move into the tutorial. So, starting off with, we have obviously uh, the front nose of the aircraft. Um, you know, real nice, simplistic, nothing real fancy going on here. Uh, with many pictures of the F 22, it has an orange kind of tint to the uh, cockpit. Um, I'm not sure how accurate that is or what the deal why it is like that but um, I decided to go ahead and include it because I think it just looks really nice adds a good you know bit of color and stuff to the F-22 and um, kind of gives it that iconic F-22 look with having that kind of orange cockpit canopy. Um, from that point moving on back we have our intakes here located on the bottom here for our two jet engines so obviously here on both sides. As we continue to work our way back we have uh, all the little details here on top shaping for the wings um, you can see it kind of outlined the wings and a little bit of the nose and stuff with a lighter color of stone using the stone slabs which kind of gives it that multi-color um, look that the F-22 has, mostly with a lighter outline around the um, edge of the wing tips and stuff like that. Um, after that we have the vertical stabilizers, um, the whole epinage back here, uh, the stabilators and uh, the jet engines located right back there. Um, overall, really look, looks really nice. Really nice, uh, sleek aircraft should be a relatively easy and fun tutorial. And um, you can also have the bottom here opened up where this hatch is outlined to have missiles and stuff um, if you do uh, want to have that. Um, I won't be showing that in the tutorial to have the missile bay open, but if you do want to add that on yourself, you can easily go ahead and do so. Um, we also have a landed version of the aircraft, so we'll be doing that as well. As you can see, pretty standard. Have the front landing gear and the two rear landing gear back here so uh, that'll be an option for you guys as well to have both a landed and in-flight version of the f-22 for uh, your bases or whatever you guys are making anyways let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer layer number two all right guys so going ahead and getting started we're going to be going ahead and starting off with layer number two now layer two is a good way for us to get a nice base of the aircraft established and layer one is just going to be throwing on a few iron trap doors on the bottom here these blocks and some stone buttons so a lot easier just to go ahead and do layer two and uh, go back down to layer one and work away from there. Now, if you guys are completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way, the way I structure these tutorials, I like to do half on camera, half off, since the aircraft is completely symmetrical on both sides. What do we do over here on the one side? We're gonna be doing it over there on the left side. So as you can see, I already have the center line of the aircraft and the left side built. I'm gonna be building the center line and I'm gonna show you guys the right side of the aircraft. You're gonna take that right side and flip it over in between layers. As you work our way up, it makes the tutorial uh, a little bit faster for me to produce and it makes uh, just it's a lot easier on me overall. Uh, but it also allows, uh, it's, you know, it's pretty straightforward. Whatever you do on the one side, you're just going to take over to the other side. So pretty straightforward and, you know, I don't have to, you know, spend a bunch of time copying the same exact thing over to the other side. Um, we also uh, have the landed version, which we'll be doing at the end. So if you do want to have this thing landed, you will need to end up modifying the in-flight version. So you're going to be building this as if it's in flight. Just you want to make sure that this is, this layer here is three blocks off the ground. As you can see, we have this iron trap door starting here and it's three spaces from the ground. You can also look at this block back here and our side line, er, from our center line and also see three blocks of space uh, from our ground level. So very important to make sure that is correct because if you have it too high or too low, your aircraft's not gonna sit right on the ground. 
Um, anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with layer 2. So to begin with, we're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and placing down a stone block. Now, coming off the stone block toward whatever direction you want the front of the aircraft facing, which we're going to have this way, we're going to place down a stone brick up downstairs, three stone brick top slabs, and two iron trap doors. And make sure these iron trap doors are on the top portion of the block like that, and not located on the bottom like so. So you want to make sure they're on the top here, in line with the stone brick top slab. Going back from the stone block, we're going to go ahead and go an additional one, two, and three stone blocks back. So you have a row of four. Where you then want to place down your row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stone slab full blocks. Followed by two stone blocks, a stone brick upside down stair, and then three stone brick top slabs back from that stone brick stair. After that, we're then going to place down your row of one, two, and three iron trap doors. And again, these iron trap doors are going to be on the top portion of the block, like so. After that's done, we're going to go and work our way out to the sides now and build out to the sides with our iron trap doors and all of our blocks and stuff like that for the fuselage. To go ahead and get started with, we're going to go ahead and place down um, the iron trap door, come off the stone brick top slab here, followed by a second one. And we want to place down one and two stone brick top slabs back like so. From this point here, we're going to place down a row of one, two, and uh, stone brick ups downstairs. Or my bad, it's actually going to be um, one stone brick ups downstairs. And then we're going to go ahead and reverse the stairs. So coming off this stair, we're going to place down one and two stone brick ups downstairs. So it looks something like this on the bottom here. So you have the ups and down stair, and then these two stairs like this facing the opposite direction. So you have this little gap of space located right there. Uh, once that's done, going back from those stone uh, stairs, or stone brick stairs, we're going to place down a stone block, followed by a stone slab full block, and then we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five stone blocks back, a stone slab full block, a black hole block, followed by a stone brick up down stair like that. We then want to place down two stone blocks back, and then we're going to place down a stone brick up down stair, followed by a stone brick top slab followed by another brick top slab, a cobblestone top slab, and then one and two iron trap doors back like that uh, for our first row here next to our center line. Going back up to the front here, we're going to go to the stone brick up down stair here, and we're going to place down a black wool block directly behind it for the start of our intakes. We then want to place down a stone block back, followed by a stone slab full block, and we're going to place down another row of stone slab full blocks here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stone slab full blocks in total in this row right here. After that, we're gonna place down a row of one, two, three, and four stone blocks back, followed by a stone brick upside down stair, a stone brick top slab, and we then wanna place down a, another brick top slab and then another cobblestone top slab, just like that. With that done, going back up to the front here, coming off this black wool block, we're gonna place down a stone block, coming off it to the side, followed by one block forward, and then a stone brick up down stair coming off of it like that for the intake. We then want to go and work our way back from the stone block. So we're going to go and place down um, a row of one and two more stone blocks. So basically going back from the stone brick stair, we have a total of four stone blocks right here. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone brick stair. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <clears throat> nine, and ten. Uh, or my bad, it's actually going to be eight stone brick stairs back so a row of eight just like that and then we want to place down a row of one two three and four stone brick top slabs back in this stone slab here should actually be a stone brick top slab i don't know why that was um not so you should have something that looks like this on the back here and also come off this cobblestone top slab and have two iron trap doors back as well so you should have something that looks just like this on the back here um and that right there will pretty much complete this layer going to take what we did on the right side here and flip it over the left side and you'll have uh, your aircraft all set up and good to go for layer two. Anyways, that's it for layer two. Let's go ahead and move on to layer number one. All right, guys, moving on to layer one. Layer one is really simplistic uh, to go ahead and jump into it. We're going to start off by going ahead and going to the bottom here. Now, on the bottom of this black wool block, we're going to place down an iron trap door and then one more forward. And the same thing over here on this side, just like this right here, to create the bottoms of the intakes. Once that's done, we're going to take stone buns and we're going to go ahead and go in the corners here of this kind of rectangular shape here of stone slab full blocks and we're just going to place down stone buns around here in the corners like so. With that done we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone bun in the middle on the outside rows like that and then we want to go ahead and go to the inside here stone bun on the middle block on the inside and then a stone bun here to both sides like that so you get a shape or, or, or sorry a pattern that looks something just like this for the doors here that open up on the bottom of the aircraft. With that all done that's going to do it for layer number one with that let's go ahead and move on to layer number three. Alright guys, going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we have layer number 
three. So for layer three to go ahead and get started with, we're gonna go ahead and go to these two iron trap doors in the front nose here. We're gonna place down two stone blocks on top of him, followed by two more stone blocks to give you a row of four, and then two stone top slabs coming off the front block like that on the very end there for the tip of the nose. With that done, uh, you then wanna go ahead and uh, leave a sp space open here. So if you do wanna include some interior for the aircraft, um, that's something you guys can easily do. Uh, I'm not gonna be doing it in the tutorial, but if you do want to have some interior, you can leave space for a cockpit by leaving a space of four here, or just filling it in with uh, some black wool blocks just to kind of close it in from the outside. Either way, it's fine, but we should have uh, basically four blocks filled in here or left open. With that done, we're gonna then place down your row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21 stone blocks back. So all the way back to this last iron trap door. Let me go ahead and get a double count here. And yep, 21 blocks followed by a stone brick up downstairs and a stone brick top side to go ahead and wrap up the tail there. With that done, going ahead and moving back up to the front here, we're gonna place down an iron trap door, come up this stone block right here. We then wanna place down a stone brick top slab, going back, followed by a stone brick up down stair face in this direction. And then we wanna place down an additional stone brick stair coming off it so the stair turns into a corner stair. And then come off this stair, we're gonna place down a stone brick corner stair like that. We then wanna place down a row of one, two, three, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21 stone blocks back, followed by a glowstone block, a orange stained glass block, and then one and two stone brick slabs back like that. With that done, we're going back up to the front. We're going to go ahead and go to our second stone block here on the side. We're going to place down a stone top slab coming off of it to the side. We then want to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, and four stone brick top slabs back like that and uh, just double checking here if they're actually going to be um it's actually going to be some st uh, stone brick stairs so it's actually going to be a row of three of stone brick uh upside down stairs so we're going to swap these out for upside down stairs like that after that's done we're going to place down a black wool block after the black wool block we're going to place down a row of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen uh, stone blocks back, followed by a glowstone block, a orange stained glass block, and then two stone brick slabs back like that. With that done, go ahead and continue on. We're going to then place down a stone slab coming off this stone brick upside down stair here. After that, we're going to place down a row of two of stone brick top slabs back, followed by a black wool block, and then a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16 and 17 stone blocks back like this followed by a row of two of stone brick up sounds there like that to finish off the fuselage here with that done we're going to go back up to the um intakes on the sides here we want to go ahead and go to the side place down a stone top slab like that and then going back from the stone top slab we're going to take stone brick stairs and we want to place down a row of one two three four five um, stone brick stairs. Let me just go ahead and double check to see the count here. It's gonna be quite a long row, so we have five already of stairs. We're gonna go ahead and go six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen stairs back. So in total, we have a row of sixteen stone brick upstairs stairs, followed by a stone brick top slab, and then two stone top slabs back from that point. With that done, we're gonna go ahead and go to, and go to our uh, fourth stair back. We're gonna place down your stone top slab to the side, followed by a row of one and two of stone brick top slabs. We then want to place down a uh, row of two of stone top slabs again. So one and two stone top slabs, followed by a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine stone brick top slabs back. Actually, sorry, ten. And then a stone top slab. Let me go and get a double check here on the top slabs. Yep, ten. And so you have some little just like this. Next row to the side, we're gonna go ahead and go back up to this first stone brick top slab, place down a stone slab to the side, one more back like so. We're then gonna place down a stone brick top slab and then two more stone top slabs back, followed by a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, stone brick top slabs back and a stone top slab like that on the end there. After that, we're gonna go ahead and go to the stone brick top slab here, place down a stone block to the side, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Stone brick top slabs back and then their stone top slab here on the end. Again, go out to the side, we're gonna go one head and go to the stone brick top slab, place down a stone top slab to the side, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, and 10. Stone brick top sub's back and a stone top sub. No, that's uh, that's right. I was getting a little bit uh, confused there, but we are good to go, except this right here needs to go in one. So we're going to go ahead and break this stone brick top sub, the stone top sub, and move it forward one. So you should have four stone top subs across, and then it should indent like that on the side there. Anyways, once that's done, uh, we want to go ahead and go to the uh, first stone brick top sub here, stone top sub, second stone top sub back, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stone brick top subs back in a stone top sub like that. Um, again, going out to the side here, go to the first stone brick top sub, we're going to place any stone top sub, followed by one, two, three, four, five, and six stone brick top subs and a stone top sub like that to wrap that up. <coughs> again, going out to the side, a narrow stone top sub coming off this top sub here, one, two, three, four, and five stone brick top subs back and then a stone top sub like that on the end there. Uh, going out to the side again, uh, the stone brick top sub, stone top sub, uh, second one back, followed by a stone brick top sub, a cobblestone top sub, a uh, followed by a stone top sub like that to finish it off. With that done, going next to the stone brick top sub, stone top sub to the side, one and two back, like that to go and finish off the wing there, like that out to the side. And you're going to go and take the same design, obviously do it over the air side, and you'll have your wings set up, and something that looks just like this for the shape of the aircraft so far. Uh, with that all done, that is going to do it for layer number uh, th or, sorry, three. And actually, one last thing we're going to add up here to the front is we want to go and grab ourselves a skeleton skull and go ahead and go into this stair right here. We're going to place down a skeleton skull and a N rod coming off of it four, and this is going to be only on the right side of the aircraft. Anyways, with that all complete, that is going to do it for layer number three. With that, let's move on to our next layer, layer number four. All right, guys, going ahead and moving on to our next layer. We have layer number four so for layer four to go ahead and get started with here we're going to place down any stone or two stone slab full blocks on these two stone sla uh, top slabs here up in the front and we then want to place down one stone slab coming off these two stone slab blocks toward the front there for the nose of the aircraft with that done going back from those two uh stone slab full blocks we're going to place down two stone blocks back or sorry four stone blocks back we then have this empty space right here for the cockpit if you want to leave it um Closed up with black wool, you can place down a row of four black wool or leave a row of four of space. Um, after that, we're going to have a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stone uh, full blocks back. We then want to place down two stone brick stairs here facing each other like so, followed by a stone full block, a stone slab full block, another brick block, and then four stone slab full blocks back like this, a stone brick stair, and then a row of four stone brick slabs coming off that stair, and then two light gray carpets on top of these two or the stone brick up stair and top side on the very end there like that going back up to the front we're gonna start working our way out to the sides uh, we're gonna take a skeleton skull place it down on the side here of this stone slab full block fall by a stone slab on top of that iron trap door we then want to place down a stone brick stair like this fall by a row of one and two stairs back so you have a corner stair two regular stairs and a corner stair like that after that we're gonna place down two stone blocks black wool block and then a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stone blocks back, and then one, two, and three cobblestone blocks as well. After that, we're gonna place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight uh, stone blocks back, followed by another brick stair, and a cobblestone stair after it, followed by a cobblestone slab. We're then gonna go ahead and go back up to the front here, and again, start working our way out to the side. We're gonna start off going to the intakes. And on top of the stone brick top slab here, we're going to place down a stone brick slab, followed by one and two stone brick stairs back. We're then going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven stone blocks back, followed by one, two, three, four, five stone brick stairs, a nether brick stair, a cobblestone stair, and a cobblestone slab back like that. After that done, going back up to the front up here, we're going to go ahead and place down a iron trap door. On top of this stone brick top slab, we then want to place down another brick slab going back from the iron trap door. After that's done, uh, we're going to place down a row of two of stone brick slabs back, followed by one, two, three, and four stone brick stairs. We then want to place down another stone brick slab, followed by a, another brick slab, and then two stone slabs like this going back. We're then going to, we're then going to take our stone brick slabs, place down one, two, three, and four stone brick slabs back. Followed by a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six stone blocks back, followed by two stone top slabs like that toward the rear there to finish that off. 
With that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and go back up to the front here. We're going to go to this stone brick top slab here, or sorry, upside down stair. We're going to place down an iron trap door on top of it, followed by a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six, and actually seven stone brick slabs back. From this point here, we're going to take iron trap doors and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, yeah, just, uh, or nine actually, and ten iron trap doors back. We're then going to place down a stone brick slab, followed by one, two, three and four stone brick slabs back and an air stone slab there on the end uh, for our next row we're going to go ahead and go to this iron trap door here we're going to go ahead and go ahead and place down one more iron trap door back to the side there and we want to go back one two three four five six and seven giving you a total of eight iron trap doors along the side here go ahead and continue on um, back here we're going to go, ahead and go to the stone brick slab place down a stone slab come off it to the side followed by one two three and four stone brick slabs back and then another stone slab there on the end uh with that done we're gonna go and go to our iron trap doors place down an iron trap door come up the second one here and we just want to go ahead and go then go back one two three and four so you have a row of five there uh we're then going to go ahead and go back to the tail here and for the tail we're gonna place down a stone slab coming off of this uh, stone brick slab here and then we just want to go ahead and go back with one two and three stone brick slabs or sorry actually four and then a stone slab like this on the end there. Uh, once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and place down a stone brick, <clears throat> or sorry, a stone slab, come off the stone brick slab, one, two, and three, stone brick slabs back, and then there's stone slab right there. Uh, going ahead and go into the stone brick slab here again, there's stone slab, one, two, uh, stone brick slabs back like that, <clears throat> or sorry, just one, my bad, and then a stone slab, and then you just wanna do go ahead and do a stone slab, come off the stone brick slab, and then one more back, just like that to go ahead and do finish off our uh, stapulator here on the back. Uh, with that done, going ahead and going to this section here. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, and three, and actually four of iron trap doors, and then two iron trap doors come out the middle too, just like that. Um, once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and then uh, grab ourselves some stone buttons, and we want to go ahead and place down a row of stone buttons here. So we're going to go ahead and start from this point here, place down one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, and seven stone buttons across there. We're gonna place down a stone button here on this stone brick top slab and one also right there for your um, ailerons and uh, flaps kind of detailing there on the wings. Uh, once that's all finished, the last thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and take some light gray carpet and we're gonna place down um, light gray carpet here, uh, basically coming off this cobblestone uh, block here. So we're gonna go ahead and do one, two, and then go forward, one, and then one, two. So just like that. And once you have that done, over here on the right side, you're going to take that same design, flip it over to the left side, and you'll have layer 4 complete. As you can see, your aircraft is starting to come together, and uh, that right there will wrap up layer 4. With that, let's move on to layer number 5. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number 5. For layer 5 to go and begin with, we're going to place down a stone brick slab here on top of the stone block, followed by a stone slab back from it. We then want to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 orange stained glass blocks, followed by 2 stone blocks. Um, slab full blocks back followed by a stone block two stone brick slabs another brick slab a stone slab two stone brick slabs a cobblestone slab and then a stone brick slab like that for your center line with that going out to the sides here we're going to place down a row of one two three and four uh, orange stained glass panes on the side of the first four orange stained glass blocks uh, in the middle there followed by two uh, stone slabs these stones uh, slab full block a stone brick stair and then a row of one two and three of stone brick slabs back and then a stone slab like that to finish it off we then want to place down another stone brick slab followed by a row of two of cobblestone walls and then one two three four and five stone brick slabs with two iron trap doors like that to wrap it up uh once that's done uh we would then want to go ahead and uh, move to the sides here and we're going to go ahead and go to the second and third stone blocks here and we're going to put down black carpet on top of them like that. Once that's done, we're going to be going ahead and focusing our attention now onto the vertical stabilizers and for this we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair like so. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three, and four stone brick stairs come off it so the stair turns into a corner stair and we have four uh, regular stairs going back and then a narrow corner stair here on the back of the stone block. So uh, you're going to have something that looks like this with the stairs facing each other toward the inside there like that for both sides and once you guys have the right side here done you're going to take that same design flip it over to the left side 
And with that all complete, that will complete layer number five of the build. Let's move on to layer number six. All right, guys, so we're going to be actually going ahead and moving into our final layers. We have layers six through nine, um, just because these layers are pretty simple altogether for us just to go ahead and knock out. So first to get started, we're going to go and focus our attention on the cockpit. For this, we're going to go ahead and place down a orange, or sorry, an acacia wood uh, slab here on top of the second orange stained glass block. We then want to place down a row of one and two of orange stained glass blocks back like this, followed by two acacia wood slabs back, and then a iron trap door there on the end. From this point here, we're going to go ahead and take some wither skeleton skulls. We're going to go ahead and go to both sides of this acacia wood slab, place down a wither skeleton skull at a very slight angle, so not a 45 degree angle, about a 30 degree angle like that. We then want to place down a row of one and two of their skeleton skulls back along the sides here on these two light gray stained glass, or those two orange stained glass panes, like that along the side there, and that right there will finish it up for the cockpit. Uh, with that done, we're going to go ahead and now focus our attention to the vertical stabilizers. So for this, we're going to go ahead and go off these four stone brick stairs here. We're going to place down four stone brick ups downstairs. Now on top of these stairs, we're going to place down a stone brick stair like this on both ends, and then in the middle, a row of two of stone brick stairs across just like that um or sorry my bad it's going to be uh one stair like that in the front there and then a row three of snow brick stairs so just like that uh then we want to go ahead and go up placing down three upside down stone brick stairs like that come off those stairs there and then up on top here we're gonna have a stone brick stair here on both sides and then a stair like this in the middle so these two stairs are going to be corner stairs and then we're gonna have that regular stair in the middle i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing over here on this one gonna go a little bit quicker as I kind of ex just explained it a little bit more in detail. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of go through it and build it up real quick. And again, you can just kind of see what I'm doing. Um, but it's the uh, same thing as the other one over there. So if you built the other one, no problem. This one is going to be a breeze. And just like that, you have both your vertical stabilizers done. Now, last thing for us to do is to go ahead and put on the uh, markings onto the vertical stabilizers. Now, these can be whatever letters you guys want. Um, whatever you really want but the best thing to do is do gray banners with white lettering now i'm going to be linking a tutorial down in the description where you can go ahead and find a tutorial that works really good for banners and doing lettering and also numbers so if you want to do numbers you can uh, but most most of the time it's actually going to be letters that would be on the tail here um so you can see i have ca which is abbreviation for california so this would be a uh, f22 that would be stationed in california um, so just something to kind of keep in mind, you can go ahead and kind of do that if you have a base that you're building in a certain state or something like that, you can uh, keep that in mind for adding these on or just do whatever you want, your initials, whatever you really want, you guys can go for it and go crazy. Um, anyways, you're going to go ahead and do that, follow that tutorial, put those banners on in this location right here on the tail, and it'll be on both sides, same location, and um, you'll have that all complete. And once you have that done, that'll be, the, uh, that'll be it for the in-flight version of the F-22. Um, if you want to build the landed version, we're going to be going ahead and moving on to that next, so uh, stick around. But anyways, let's go ahead and now move into the landed version of the F-22. Alright guys, so we're going ahead and moving into our landing gear. We'll be going ahead and beginning with the front uh, wheel. So for this, we're going to be going ahead and going to the bottom here, and we want to go ahead and go to this position down here. Now we have these two iron trap doors that are on the tops, or on the bottoms of these, those stone blocks there, and then we have two stone brick top subs after it. We then want to break the third stone brick top sub of this stair, and two stone blocks back like this. Now, from this point here, uh, we want to go ahead and place down a quartz uh, top slab here. We then can go ahead and switch this block out for a quartz full block. We're going to place down their quartz top slab, and we then want to place down a um, quartz top slab coming down like this at an angle here. Now, from this point, we're going to go ahead and go to this section here. We're going to go ahead and place down uh, a quartz full block in, in uh, this spot right here. We then want to place down a cobblestone wall, going down like so, and followed by a second one after that. On the bottom of this second cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a quartz upside down stair with the back of the stair toward the right side. On the bottom of the stair, we're going to place down a block of coal, followed by an item frame, stone button, and then a uh, light or a white stained glass pane in that item frame like that to the left side. And over here to the right side, we're going to place down a lever, followed by a skeleton skull coming off the back of this quartz stair. Now when that's all finished there, we also want to go ahead and place down a item frame on this cobblestone wall. And in the item frame, we're going to place down a glass block and we want to go and then grab ourselves a wooden sign. And we're going to place down a wooden sign here on the cobblestone wall as well to create the light here on the landing gear. With that done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves stone brick stairs. We're going to go ahead and uh, replace these uh, two stone brick top slabs here 
with uh, upside down stairs and we're gonna go and do the same thing over here and on the bottom of those stone brick stairs we're gonna place down one two and three iron trap doors going forward and one two and three like that for the doors there and we actually want to go ahead and no that's actually right that's good to go and anyways that right there is going to do it for the front landing wheel with that let's go ahead and move on to the rear ones all right guys so going ahead and moving into our rear landing gear so for our rear landing gear we're going to be going ahead and going to this bottom section down here now we want to go ahead and go to the second stone block here from the end so you have the stone break up stand stair and it's on the bottom row here we're going to go, ahead and go to the second stone block here we're going to break it we're then going to break this stone brick top slab out to the side we're then going to go ahead and break a additional uh space of three there's two more spaces so we have the stone brick stair break that stone block break this stone block like that to break this space open here um, on the bottom of the aircraft like this now from this point here uh, we want to go ahead and then also break up into the wing here so we're going to break these three stone brick top upside down stairs and three three stone blocks like this to open this space up now from here we're going to go and place down a row of three of quartz full blocks right here uh, coming off this middle quartz full block we're going to place down a quartz slab like this followed by a quartz top slab like that uh, we then also want to place down an iron trap door on uh, the bottom here, the stone brick top slab, and there's another iron trap door right there to just kind of close it off a little bit more. Once that's done, uh, we want to go ahead and place down a quartz stair going down from this quartz full block here. So just like this, with a end rod coming off of it to the side there like so. With that done, we're going to go and place down a cobblestone wall going down from the quartz stair, followed by a, uh, or a quartz upside down stair like this, sorry, like this on the very bottom. Come off this uh, quartz upside down stair to place down a narrow brick upside down stair or narrow brick stair like this, followed by an upside down stair behind it, a regular stair like this behind the stair, and then a narrow brick upside down stair like that to go ahead and create the wheel. Uh, we then want to place down a skeleton skull, come off this cobblestone wall here on the end like that. And uh, once you have that all finished there, we're going to place down uh, a, another end rod on this side here of this uh, quartz stair. With that done, uh, we also want to place down a lever. That is going to be coming down from this cobblestone top slab. With uh, that all finished there, we're going to go ahead and then go to the middle here. Now for the middle space here, we want to place down a stone brick stair coming off the back here um, of this cobblestone wall. We're then going to place down a stone block down going, coming down from it and then a stone brick stair going back like this. And I'm going to go ahead and double check real quick to make sure that there's, see there's a stair coming forward and there is. So we're also going to add a stair come off this stone block going forward like that. With uh, that finished there, we're going to go ahead and then do the uh, panel here that's on the outside. So for this, we're going to go ahead and line up with these three stone brick top steps. We're going to break these and in their place, place down three stone blocks. Now going down from the, these stone blocks, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair upside down in the front here. Stone block and a cobblestone wall like that. We then want to go ahead and place down a stone brick upside down stair, stone block and a stone brick upside down stair like that for the um, panel there, the hatch that would open up. And once you have that done, you have your landing gear here complete. Uh, you're gonna take the same design, flip it over to the air side, and once you have both those done, you'll have the landing gear of your F-22 complete and all set and ready to go. Anyways, that right there is going to do it for my tutorial for the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using this design, do I so you guys give me proper credit for it? This is me thank you from a side of the build to my channel or this video if this does appear on social media sites. As always, you guys give me proper credit for it. You're free to use your favorite projects you guys are working on. And, um, you know, yeah, have fun with the build. Enjoy it and um, all that fun stuff. And that, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, if you like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary204, and I'll see you guys next time.